everyone, welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So this video is going to be part two of the extreme clean with me that I started yesterday. So today's video we are moving on to the bedrooms and the living room. I also had some laundry to get done so pretty much everything that needed to be done apart from the kitchen and the bathrooms that we did yesterday. So hopefully this is going to be a really useful video to help you get your cleaning motivation and help us just to get it all done together. It was a lot to get done but it was so worth it at the end having such a clean home. Two days dedicated to each different rooms and honestly you just feel like you have your life together. <laughs> These were the lists I had left over from my other clean with me. I did end up rewriting these out just because I'm weird like that and I like to have new lists for a new day. But it gave a little indication as to what I needed to do, but I did add a couple of things on there. So starting off in the bedroom, this is one of the tasks I added on. So I decided to change the bed sheets today and give the bed a good clean. So first of all, I am just stripping off all the sheets ready to go in the washing machine. Once the sheets are off, then I am just going to pull out the bed from the headboard. So I just pulled the mattress out and I like to hoover down the side of there just to get rid of any dust that builds up and hair and things like that. Tomorrow, closing in this fast, oh, I guess time's in a rush. And then once I've done the side by the headboard, I also like to hoover my mattress. This is a really great tip just to get any dust mites or anything that might be on your mattress. If you want to take it a step further, you can also put some bicarbonate of soda on there, leave it for a couple of hours and then hoover it up and it just gets rid of any odours and things like that. Oh, the time I so once I'm satisfied that the bed is nice and clean, now it's time to put some new sheets on and then put my little pillow arrangement on there. And then to finish off the bed, I'm just giving it a spray with the Febreze fabric spray. Moving on now to folding Paul's clothes. He did want to give them an iron when he got in, but I just thought I'll just fold them just to make them look neat. So that is a little check on my list and then he can sort out the rest. So next I'm just doing a little bit of tidying and just making sure that everything is put away in its rightful place. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm moving on to cleaning the surfaces. So to start with, I just use my pledge duster and I just wipe off any dust. I don't bother catching it, I just put it onto the floor because I hoover straight away anyway. And then once all the dust is gone, I'm then going over with a cloth and some pink stuff. Next is time to clean the mirrors, so I'm just using my Minky and white vinegar spray and just making sure any marks are gone and they have a good shine. Moving on to cleaning this little windowsill we have in our bedroom that does get quite dirty so I'm just cleaning all around the bottom as you can see and it does get a good build up of dirt and rust and all things like that so I do like to give this a good clean quite regularly. And then I decided just to give the windows a bit of a clean as well with my minky and white vinegar spray. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go, spend my coin for show. I'm gonna be myself, or I can be so. So finishing off, I'm just gonna hoover the bedroom and then I'll just finish it off with some carpet spray. So now I get to tick away all that new list that I have wrote out and it was extremely satisfying and then moving on to the office. So as you can see my office slash dressing room was an absolute dumping ground. I am so embarrassed at how I've let it get in this state but it's been a combination of wearing multiple different outfits. I also filmed my charity shop haul in there recently so I had all the stuff from that out and yeah it's just um, I have no excuses I'm sorry <laughs> So first of all I'm just gathering up all the clothes and putting them into one big sort out pile. Else, no 
and then removing my towel from my bike this bike does get used and i did go for a period of using it daily but recently it has been more of a towel storer so today i'm going to give it a good clean and spruce up and hopefully that will motivate me to get back on it so then to start with sorting out the clothes, I'm just going to separate things that need to be hung up to things that go in drawers. That's just something I find makes it a lot quicker for me. So I'm just putting anything that can go in drawers back in the basket and then anything that needs to be hung up for now I'm just putting on the bike. Now is time to work through all the things that need to be hung up so I'm just hanging them in their right place. I do like to keep my wardrobe fairly organised so I do have different sections like dresses, tops, t-shirts, sweatshirts, cardigans, things like that so I try and keep to that as much as possible. Next, I'm just moving on to my desk. So I'm just putting everything where it should be and then giving the desk a good clean with pledge duster and then my pink stuff. I'm now moving on to the clothes that just go in drawers so the main section of this was just pyjamas so I like to roll up my pyjamas like this I found it's the best way for storing them and I'm just a pyjama fiend I can never have too many pyjamas so I need to find a way that it stores them small enough so that I can have loads so I just put all those away Now moving on to cleaning the bike, so I just took an anti-back wipe, I was running out of microfiber cloths that were clean at this point, so a wipe was my only real option considering how much sweat <laughs> the bike probably accumulates and bacteria and things like that, so I just thought I'd better be safe than sorry and remove all that.
Next I'm just cleaning the windows in this bedroom slash office again. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. And again, I'm just cleaning the windowsill. I did have a basket full of my horse riding stuff that I moved and put in the outhouse after this, since at the moment I'm not currently riding, so it really had no point being there and it was a bit of an eyesore. I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break. So then to finish off this room, again, I'm just going to hoover and then do some carpet spray. I find the combination of hoovering and then carpet spray as your last thing to do in each room just finishes off. And then if you want to take it a step further, of course, light a candle. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase and everything is going just great. Almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. I always knew that this would happen, yeah. You would find a new distraction. I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit. Can we let go of tomorrow, yeah. So now it's time just to tick everything off that list and then I'm going to move on to focusing on the laundry. So I just already had some laundry to take out and then I'm just going to fill it with more laundry and move the other stuff to the tumble dryer. Can't stop, yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase and everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah So I got these towels from the tumble dryer so I just needed to fold them and put them away Next, moving on to the living room. So the living room was quite clean already. It didn't have much to do, but it was more just tidying and more deep cleaning the things that I hadn't done in a couple of weeks. So first of all, I always start by cleaning and tidying this room by sorting out Murphy's toys. As you can see, Murphy has a lot of toys. He is our prince and he can never have too many. So I first just start by picking them up and put them, we call it his toy box, just a little box that we keep on the floor that he can take his toys out of. And unfortunately, we haven't trained him to put them back in. What happened? What you're up to today? Remember when we stole your mother's car? We drove for days. So next I'm just doing a quick little tidy around and putting everything back where they should be. We were higher than the ceiling, middle fingers to the sky. I remember thinking if I only could stop the time. Way back when we didn't care what they said. People could stare at it. Now moving on to cleaning the surfaces, so I just give all the surfaces in this room a good clean with a microfiber cloth and the pink stuff. Way back when Remember when my father taught us how to play guitar And we started up a band in my garage we thought our dream would take us so far But after a week or so it all just fell apart But we were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time 
time right now way back when we didn't care what they said people could stare i didn't give a damn cause i was being next to you way back when we didn't care what they said people could stare i didn't give a damn cause all i needed was my friend way back Next I'm moving on to my windowsill, so again just using a microfiber cloth, just making sure I take everything off there and giving it a good clean. Then to put everything back I started with this mirror tray so I wanted to give that a good buff since it was looking a little bit grubby and dusty so I use a minky just to shine that up. And now I'm just putting everything back on my windowsill. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy let your hair down. Now moving on to the log burner area, so I first just start by hoovering all the dust and all the rubbish that falls out the log burner when you burn it. Now I'm just giving the tiles around the log burner a good clean and this is so satisfying, you get loads of dirt up even when it doesn't even look that dirty. Now moving on, I'm just going to take all the cushions off the sofa and give it a good hoover and get any crumbs or anything that have fallen down it. I actually couldn't believe how little crumbs there were considering I don't think I've done this in about two months which is actually quite bad but there's barely any crumbs down there and we do eat in the living room quite a lot so we must just be quite clean eaters which I don't know if that's entirely true but I'm just going to say it is. So once the couch has then been hoovered, I'm then just going to put all the cushions back on and then give it a good spray with Febreze. Now moving on to our other little sofa that we got second hand really cheap and it is so comfy. I love this sofa so much but I do like to keep a blanket over it just because it's a little bit discoloured in the middle. So I keep a blanket over it and some pillows so I just wanted to straighten that up. Then moving on to doing the mirrors again just using white vinegar spray and my minky. About to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know and then just going to finish off the living room by giving it a good hoover and then using some carpet spray what we can be like with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for
I'm looking back Eyes on the freeway Bonnie and Clyde a classic cliche. And then finally back to the laundry so I'm just taking out the load that I put in before and I will put those into the tumble dryer. I'm then going to put in all of my microfiber cloths and minkies just because I literally have none left. I feel like you can never have too many microfiber cloths especially when you're trying to stay away from using kitchen towel and wipes and things like that. So. I feel like I do have a lot of microfiber cloths but they come in useful because I like to use a different one for each thing so that you're not cross contaminating. So then I'm just ticking off the living room list and then I also had a bit of an ad hoc list so I had only three things on there which was laundry, makeup brushes and doing the laundry drawer since it was looking a little bit grubby but I'm going to save the makeup brushes and the laundry drawer for another time. I'll probably end up just tagging that onto a normal day of house cleaning since I'd run out of energy this day. So that is the end of my Extreme Clean With Me part two. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have been motivated to clean and get that amazing feeling of when you've cleaned your space and you just feel incredible. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.